you lead a team or manage projects, chances are you know how mind-numbing it is to keep everyone on the same page. Whether it's onboarding new members, training your existing staff, or simply keeping your processes organized, you spend hours explaining the same steps again and again. And sure, maybe you have documentation, but keeping them up to date, yeah, good luck with that. But what if there were tools to automate and streamline all that hassle? Today, we're comparing Komodo, Scribe, and Tango, three powerful options to help you document processes, save time, and reduce headaches. Let's see which one is worth your attention. Quick disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Komodo, but everything I say in this video are my thoughts only. So Scribe, Tango, and Komodo all offer the same key feature, which is helping with documentation. Each of them has their own approach to a guide, so let's explore those. First, we are on Tango. Let's click on New Tango, and we are going to select Pixabay. All right, and now we are on Pixabay, and this is what it looks like. Let's click on Pixabay, and we are going to click on a random photo, and we are going to use the search bar, I am searching, <laughs> because that's what we're doing. Huh, very interesting photos here. Let's take a look at this, and let's take a look at the surrounding photos. All right, and let's try this one. Now let's use this like button. Uh, apparently I can't do that because I'm not logged in. But hey, we have a number of steps. So now we can see to the right, we got this Tango Chrome extension. We simply click on the check mark right here. And that ends the Tango recording. And there you go, that was instant, wow. Navigating Pixabay for beautiful images. And this is how it looks. We can actually edit the title. We can call this, but that actually is the title that works for this. So I don't think there's a need to change that. So this is the step, click on close. You can see how zoomed in it is. And apparently we can actually zoom in and save. We can zoom out. And these are the rest of the steps. As you can see, this is what I did. I clicked on Pixabay. I clicked on a specific photo. And here it knows that I typed, I am searching. And then it knows what I clicked on. Click on women, click on love, click on 28. So here I guess it can't tell what the like button is. So we have to spell out, click on the like button. And we can actually add a description. This is not just a 28. But that was super convenient. It captured all of that in one go. And now there's even an option to guide me. So let's preview the guide me. See that sidebar to the right? Wow, that is like having an over the shoulder experience with your boss. Now I'm trying to experience going through the guide myself. It says here, click on close. There is nothing to close. So let's just mark that as complete. Click on Pixabay, let's do that. Hmm. So we have to mark this as complete. We have to mark this as complete. And it knows the exact photo. Look at how it highlights this element with these shadows surrounding it. And it says, click the action box. Let's do that. And there you go, it highlights the search bar. This already kind of feels like I'm going through a user onboarding. So I'm gonna type, I am searching, and I'm gonna click on next. Huh, so it didn't capture hitting the enter button. So this is a point of friction. I have to figure that out myself. So, so for someone who doesn't find this process intuitive, it might be hard to know what the next step is. After hitting enter, we're back here. Let me click on that. And now I'm lost. Can't recall how we ended up here. Maybe I clicked on Pixabay again. So for now, I'll just have to mark this as complete. Click on the like button is right there. I will do that. And yes, I will end with click on close. And now we have a convenient Tango link. So following the guide was actually pretty good, but there were some steps that were not captured. Now we are on Scribe. Let's click on you. And it says we can capture via the browser. And apparently we can do voice transcription. So we can talk as we record the Scribe. Let me click on that. So now let's choose Pixabay. Now capturing your browser. Okay, wow. I'm just looking at scribe to the right and it's transcribing everything I'm saying. That's great. Let's close this little ad over here. Oh. Now we can click on this image. 
And from here, we are going to go back, and we are gonna go down, and let's click on this image. And from here, we are going to click the heart or like button, and now we close this, and we are going to complete capture. Completing our scribe, this may take a few seconds. That is a few seconds taking a bit longer than Tango. Makes sense because it has audio, unlike Tango. There you go. How to download images from Pixabay. Wow, it figured that out. So this is the first step. It doesn't quite have a screenshot, but that's okay. Now this has a screenshot and you can see it has a transcription, everything I said. Also, everything I said. Now the question is, is this something that I can follow? Now just suppose that I'm following this. So navigate to pixabay.com. That's pretty easy, just type it out. Now capturing your browser. Okay, I'm looking at this and because there's audio transcription, which becomes the description for the step, unlike with Tango, Tango records your action, whereas Scribe uses your audio, at least when you select audio transcription. And I do think I would be able to go through all of these steps properly thanks to the audio transcription. Let's click on done editing and share the scribe. And this is what actually blew my mind. There is apparently a movie mode. So if we play this. Navigate to this link. Now capturing your browser. Okay, wow. I'm just looking at scribe to the right and it's transcribing everything I'm saying. That's great. Just close this little ad over here. Now we can click on this image, and from here, we are going to go back, and we are going to go down. And let's click on this image, and from here, we are going to click the heart or like button. Now we close this, and we are going to complete the capture. That is fancy. I think it's using AI to modify my voice. As a voice actor, I don't necessarily like that. But yeah, I get the appeal, the convenience of turning that text or your own voice into what sounds like a professional recording. And it's not even just my voice. Scribe added this mouse. And take a look at how it zooms in and it has captions. That already looks like a professionally done tutorial. And I can't believe this was done just by going through the steps. This is Wow, it's like you had your own production team. But what about Komodo? It's actually really simple. Komodo's free plan already lets you use the desktop app. So I'm using the desktop app right here, and I'm going to select this webcam, this microphone, and we simply toggle record guide steps. We click record and select our screen. We are rolling, and here we are. So first thing, I'm going to click on this photo over here. See what happens. And from there, we are going to go type, I love this website. And from there, we are going to find some other photos. Let's click on this one. From here, I'm gonna click the like button and then click close. And we simply end the guide. Huh, didn't seem to load. There we go. And this is what a Komodo guide looks like on a free plan. So I've actually been recording this with OBS, but I recorded the Tango and Scribe sections with Komodo. So let's take a look at Komodo's guide. Here you have the steps and similar to Tango, it detects the action that you took and uses that as the title of the step. So let's see how useful these steps actually are. So it says click here and you would look at this image over here with the highlight. We'd be able to follow that. Now it says open Google Chrome and it shows the title of the tab. Maybe it would be better if it showed a URL. Click the group desktop. What does that mean? Let's expand this. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Type I love this website, then enter. There we go. The Tango guide was not able to detect enter, and we can actually add an image here if we wanted to. Again, it says click here and it points to an image and another click here. It didn't give the like button a label. It's just a generic click here, but at least it didn't get it wrong. So again, it says click the group desktop. Not sure what that means. I think because we are using the desktop app, it's trying to record the steps from a desktop perspective and it shows another click here and another click here. But the great 
great thing about Komodo is that it's got this summary feature. These are like YouTube chapters, and when I click this, it takes us to that section of the video. Let's try this one. From here, From here I'm, I'm going to click the like. And let's try this one. From, From here, here, I'm. Uh, this one. And, the, and guide. the guide. I find that very useful. It even has a full transcript. Again, this is on the free plan. And of course, notice how Komodo is the only one among the three that has a video feature. It's not even as an afterthought, but it seems that the Komodo team really believes that guides should have videos. But you do have the option to just use guides and not the videos. So those are the core features, but we're not going to look at the supporting features in great detail because that would make this a really long video. But what I do want to look at is their price to performance ratio. First, looking at the free plans, Tango has 15 shared workflows. Scribe doesn't spell it out on their pricing page, but when you go to the workspace, you find that a free plan gives you 10 free documents. On the other hand, on Komodo, you get unlimited 720p HD videos, which have no time limit on length. So instead of limiting the number of guides, they decided to limit the number of steps to 10 per guide. That means if you lead a younger team or organization doing something with a lot of intricate steps, then you might benefit from the full 15 workflows on Tango and 10 on Scribe. However, since the Komodo free plan still has no time limit on length, you can just record a longer video. Sure, you only get 10 of the steps, but the AI-powered summaries and transcriptions plus video and the free plan are going to help. I should also note that both Tango and Scribe only capture web or browser-based processes. But on Komodo, even on a free plan, you get access to the desktop features. Now for the pro plans. On Tango, you will be paying $12 per seat per month when paying annually. And on Komodo, you're paying $4.20 per month when billed annually because for some reason pro team is in the middle and pro personal is to the right. So Scribe is even more expensive than Tango when you are not paying for a team. And if you look at Komodo, you will be paying $21 per month when paying annually, and that is for five users. Whereas on Scribe, you pay $2 more for one person. And guys, this isn't just price, this is price to performance. If you look at their list of features, when you look at Tango and Scribe's pro plans, you are not gonna find a feature that is there that is not already included in the Komodo pro plan. In fact, Komodo is the only one that adds feature, a loom-like feature. And by the way, these are the annual fees. Let's switch them to monthly. So now on Tango, you're paying $24 per month per user. And now Scribe is $29 per seat per month. Well, let's try to be fair here. This pro team might be a good value, potentially. For a team of five, you would be paying $75 per month. On Komodo's team plan, it would be $35 per month. So is it worth paying an extra $40 per month to get essentially the same features? I do have to say though that I was floored by Scribe's movie feature. I think it offers great user experience. And I absolutely love Tango's guide me feature. It's very interactive. Overall, I find it quite difficult to give a one size fits all recommendation because each of them seems to be tailored to a specific type of user. I like how Tango makes you feel like you're actually getting some direct guidance. The interactive features like highlighting buttons and calls to action are very engaging. Scribe, on the other hand, creates a very polished and produced type of guide. Tango, on the other hand, creates a very polished and sleek type of look. And Komodo, I find, packs the best price to performance ratio. Scribe and Tango both create guides with all these advantages advanced features, so you can consider them to be specialist tools. Whereas all the Komodo's guides aren't as interactive or as polished, you actually get a video with a live talking human. I think that alone adds a more human and relational element to the process. And again, it also doubles as a loom alternative. So when you choose Komodo, you're not only getting the savings of choosing it over Tango and Scribe, but you can also drop loom and get savings from that. And if you have a larger organization, that per user cost savings is really going to add up. So which of these three documentation tools do you like? Leave your comments down below. And if you want to get even more savings with Komodo, check out the discount code in the description down below. And by the way, if you want to see how Komodo compares to Loom, check out this video.